welcome to my channel this is vijay lakshmi this is a continuation video of my previous video and in my previous video i have explained how to compute the first and the follow okay so after identifying first and follow next we have to construct a predictive parsing table or we call it as ll1 parsing okay we have to construct this parsing so here to construct this again for this grammar only e derives t e dash e dash derives plus c e dash or epsilon T derives F T dash and T dash derives star of F T dash or epsilon. F D derives E or I D. For this grammar only, we have computed the first and follow. Please, may I refer my previous video how to compute this first and follow? Since my table is small, I have taken those values which. Okay, guys. So now, how to fill this L L one parsing table? How to construct this parsing table? If you observe this grammar, this grammar has how many non-terminals? Five non-terminal symbols. So you you draw one column here which includes all the non-terminal symbols, and whatever are input symbols, the input symbols here you should write at the right hand side. So the input symbols, what are the uh, terminal symbols we have used in the grammar? We have plus here, and we have star, open brace, greater than, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and id. So the, all the terminal symbols are nothing but input symbols given in the grammar. Observe the grammar. Which are the input symbols? You write those input symbols here. So I have written here now. Id plus star is the plus star open brace, close brace, and dollar. So by default you have to include dollar for all the LL1 parsing tables. So after writing this table, now I have to fill this table with these productions. Which productions I have to write now? First you observe the first of E. The starting symbol, e derives t e dash e is our starting symbol. Now, what is first of e? According to rule number one, for each terminal a in first of a, okay, for each terminal a in first of a, okay, we should add a derives alpha, okay, for each terminal symbol in first of a, add a derives alpha. In place of a, what we have e. So now we should add for all the First of e, we should add the productions e derives t e dash. That is alpha is nothing but the production rule, whatever has been given to us. So here, what is first of e? First of e, I have the symbols open brace and id. See the table here, open brace and id. To this open brace and id, I should add the production what e derives t e dash. This is the production I should add. That is id and open brace, open brace and an id. What I should add now? I should add the production e derives t e dash, the first rule. And here for this also, you add e derives t e dash. Okay, guys. Similarly, observe the second one. First of e dash, what are the symbols you have? Plus and epsilon. Whenever epsilon is present, we should add the follow that I will tell you later. First, we will fill up with for first. First of e dash, what do you have? Plus. So here for e dash row, plus symbol. Okay. For plus symbol, what is the production we should add? E dash derives plus T E dash. This is the rule given for that. So fill this. E dash derives plus T E dash. Okay, guys. So then, next is what is first of T? First of T is open brace and an ID. See, open brace and ID in these positions. Open brace and ID. I should write the production T derives F T dash. So if first of A, so whatever the symbols in first of A is there, to that symbols you should add the production A derives alpha. This is the first rule we are applying now, okay, for the predictive parsing table. So for T, what are, what are the symbols here? ID and open brace. First of T is ID and open brace. So T derives what? F T dash. T derives F T dash. And here also add T derives F T dash. Similarly, what is first of T dash? Star and epsilon. For t dash is here, in the star place I am adding t dash derives star of f t dash. And epsilon will do, do it later. Okay guys. Next f derives, the next one f derives. What is first of f? Open brace and id. So open brace here. Open brace and id I should add what now? f derives e. Okay guys. So here, this is F derives ID. I have two productions. This is ID column. So I should write here F derives ID. And next what I have? This production. For open parenthesis, 
f derives e okay guys so this is first we have filled we have filled all the first next how to fill this follow in this table to fill the follow you should see the productions here where epsilon is present in first of some non terminal in first of e you don't have epsilon but in first of e dash you have epsilon so what is the rule here whenever you see uh, for first of e dash is epsilon if first of e dash is epsilon means then for that uh, wherever this follow of e is present for all the symbols in that uh, follow of e you have to add that production for the follow symbols so here e dash we have epsilon here so find what is follow of e dash now follow of e dash is what greater than and dollar so in place of greater than and dollar you should add the production e dash derives epsilon okay guys so this is what we are going to do here now so here what we have now in the for, for first of e we don't have epsilon but first of e dash we have epsilon since we have epsilon find what is follow of e dash follow of e dash is greater than and dollar so see in the table where greater than and dollar symbol is present so here greater than and dollar for e dash it is present here so for this symbols add the production e dash derives epsilon e dash derives epsilon that's all guys that's how we fill the follow next to see where epsilon is present in first so here first of t we don't have epsilon but first of t dash we have epsilon so since we epsilon is present here find what is follow of t dash follow of t dash is what plus greater than and dollar so for these productions you should add the production t dash derives epsilon so here for t dash you observe we have plus in here plus dollar and greater than symbol plus greater than and dollar symbol for these three columns you should add the production t dash derives epsilon okay t dash derives epsilon t dash derives epsilon okay next where epsilon is present just observe t dash so that's how we don't have epsilon anymore here first of if you have open brace and nid so that's all we have constructed the predictive parsing table ll1 parsing table so the blank spaces here whatever is left out just put one one dash these are called as the errors okay the blank spaces are nothing but the errors we say so whenever the predictive parser sees these blank spaces so that will be substituted with the errors only these are useful grammars okay it is an ll1 parser because for every single input there is only one production now so the it won't get any ambiguous grammar from this okay guys so that's all hope you have understood this how to uh, fill the predictive parsing table using first and follow please don't forget to subscribe like and comment